hello, hello, hello. And how are we today? I wish that you could actually reply and I could say, great. Or are you one of those people when someone says, oh, hi, how are you? You just like go, you automatically just say, oh yeah, good, I'm, I'm doing good, thank you. Even though you feel like shit, because that that's me. I feel like lately I've been a lot more inclined to just be honest and say, oh, I'm stressed, overwhelmed, worried about the state of the planet, convinced we're living in a simulation, but at the same time not convinced because things would be a bit more exciting. You know what I mean? Like I kind of believe in the simulation theory because Elon Musk believes in it and he's very intelligent. So that that kind of definitely like makes me lean towards, hmm, yes, maybe this simulation thing is, is real. I don't really understand it. It's a head fuck trying to like wrap your head around it, honestly. But I've like literally rewatched like Elon Musk talking about it about 50 times. I, don't, I can only just like merely grasp the concept, you know? So I don't really understand it. Have you ever thought about one day the world is just going to end? Like everyone you know is going to die. Probably going to be no planet Earth. And then it's just going to be darkness. All the other like parallel universes, it's just going to be one big black space, which in itself is like strange to think about we're just floating about and imagine if there was no earth it's just black space it's void with some planets i don't know it's just crazy to think about sorry i didn't mean to de depress you like you probably tuned in thinking oh what am i going to be talking about today is she going to be talking about penis lipsticks vaginas her neighbors like what is she going to be talking about today she's going to make me smile she's going to make me laugh and then i just come on here talking about how one day that there's going to be nothing and everyone you know is going to die. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry guys. I don't mean to be like, you know, a vibe killer or anything, but just with the way that things are going right now, I feel like we're approaching the end of the world. We're just on like a fast track to the end of times because it, it seems like everything's just going mental at the moment. Like we're, ha we're experiencing like extremes of weather, extreme like cost of living issues and i know there's been recessions in the past like i get it but it just feels like everything's coming at once and then with the, the pandemic a couple of years ago and it just feels like ever since that the pandemic things have just got like crazier and crazier and crazier it's just like a free-for-all like do you know what oh yes why don't you just uh, double all of our electricity bills increase the cost of food make it impossible for people to be able to buy a home or even rent a home because there's not enough houses out there i just feel like it's the end of times like china they're going through like a epic heat wave at the moment like at night time apparently it's like 36 degrees and that's been going on for a couple of months and then you've got the floods that are happening in pakistan which have just absolutely destroyed their country and i feel like not many people are kind of talking about these things like particularly china and the floods in pakistan it's almost like i don't know people there's not a lot of news coverage over here but like who am i to talk because i don't really watch the news honestly like i have come to a point in my life where i cannot watch the news i cannot read the news by by news i mean mainstream news i ain't watching it i ain't reading it why? Because it bums me the fuck out. Doom and gloom and doom and gloom and you're going to lose your house. You're not going to be able to buy food. You're going to be sat on the corner of your road just shivering. You're homeless. You'll still be working because, of course, employers, they're not increasing salaries. Everything else is, is increasing. Fuel, food, utility bills. Everything's increasing, but yet, oh, my salary is not increasing. Like, oh, isn't that convenient? Isn't that great, great economics? Everything's going up, but salaries are not going up. What kind of shit is this? Like, what kind of shit is this? I just feel like the world is going mental. And I've been around for, I'd like to say 21 years, but let's face it, I've been, been here for like 37 years at this point. And I know we've had some like weird times, but 
it's never been this weird. It's never been this weird. And I cannot watch anything to do with the cost of living crisis because it freaks me the fuck out. And, you know, me and Honeys, it's not like we earn a lot of money, but we're a two-parent family, a dual-income family, and we earn, you know, average salaries. So you would think, oh, yeah, we should be fine. We should, yeah, we should be fine. And maybe we will be fine. But then I, I worry about the people who are like single parent families where they've maybe just got a, like one income coming into the house, families that are on low incomes or just families that are already struggling. It's going to get a lot worse for them. I don't know how they're going to get through this. I, I worry. I just, I, I'm worried about everything at the moment. And I think... That's one of the reasons why I had my whole like epiphany about the makeup. And, and yes, ironically, I have makeup on today because I actually left the house today to do to like go to a meeting like outside of the house. Like I, I don't hate makeup. I still like it. I love all the products that are like my holy grail products. Holy grail makes me think back to like the fun times of YouTube where there was a really good beauty community that was wholesome and you know Tanya Burr. Um, like, I can't remember any of their names, but it was wholesome. Everyone was in it just because they loved makeup and it was fun. And it was like, you know, all of the brands hadn't got onto like sponsorships and, and maybe they did. I don't know. But it just it was the, like the early wholesome days of YouTube. Like, and, and also the 90s were so good. Like, can we not bring back the 90s vibe? I'm not really digging the 2022 vibes. Ever since 2020, the vibes have rapidly decreased. We're just living in one big, like, anxiety vibe right now. And the only way that I can remain feeling happy and positive is just to try and ignore, ignore the news, ignore... Because ultimately, mainstream media, they want to put fear into you. They want to keep you, you scared. They want to sensationalise everything. Because it's like with YouTube, clickbait titles like, I can't believe this just happened. The worst night of my life. Something bad really happened, dot, dot, dot. You know, and I've been guilty. I, be, I know I've been guilty of doing a little bit of clickbaiting here and there. I have. It's just, I've done it. But, well, it's not clickbaiting. Because if I have ever done it, actually, there has been a story that followed. So I don't really think it's like, not like, it's not like, nefarious clickbaiting it's just like honest clickbaiting like i have done that honestly but only because the whatever i'm i'm going to make the video on it was actually like it was actually true anyway anyway the the mainstream media oh my gosh it's just it's so toxic right now it's so toxic i just oh gosh and my mum would be so disappointed if she knew that i was being completely ignorant and living in denial but I've got young kids. I want to be positive for them. I don't want to be full of anxiety. I mean, I don't know how you guys are feeling about this. Whether you may live in the US, you may live in Australia, Greece, Spain, uh, Ireland, Poland, wherever you live. I'm sure it's going to be a shit show. I don't think you could be anywhere and it not be a shit show right now. It's just like every, everything's going up. Every fucking thing's going up. But the salaries, I wouldn't mind if the salaries were going up. The fucking salaries aren't going up. And nothing makes sense. Like, nothing makes sense anymore. I just feel like everyone's bullshitting us all the time. And I'm not even, like, a conspiracy theorist kind of person. Well, maybe I am. I, like, I love a good conspiracy theory. But I'm not one of these, like, crazy conspiracy theory, like, ooh, everything's a conspiracy theory. Oh, don't believe anything the government say. Like, that's not me. But I'm slowly becoming more of that kind of person as time goes on. Because I think you have to, like, you have to do a bit of critical thinking you have to try and do your own research and like don't just believe what the mainstream media is telling you and i know i'm coming off as one of these preachy people right now who i do not like but i just have to vent i have to vent you know what is crazy though we're going through the cost of living crisis and like all around me i'm i'm not really sensing that like other people are that concerned really and i'm sure they are and they're like I don't walk around like, you know, kind of venting to every single person I see about the cost of living crisis. I just don't. But, and like everywhere I look, you know, people are just like spending money on stuff. And then all up and down my street and my neighbours, 
uh, just doing like building improvements which are expensive so actually it's, it's almost like sometimes i question is it as bad as the media and the governments are making us believe it is because when i look around it seems like no one's worried and everyone's just like still spending 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 i just I, i've been finding myself feeling so frustrated like with how little everything makes sense and it just seems to be like incompetency everywhere inefficiencies apathy i just don't know how we're going to come out of this this is going to sound like really really crazy and i i know it's probably going to sound crazy but i feel like say if i hadn't had kids and like and i'd waited or maybe like i i don't know i just say if i didn't have kids at this point but i wanted kids i i don't know if i would be willing to bring kids into this shit show of a world i just can't help but think that it's not long before aliens come out of the mariana trench and try and anal probe us all then you're gonna have the robot dogs like in that black mirror episode which if you've not seen it oh my gosh if it was two years ago i would say oh yeah def definitely watch that it's it's surreal and it's outlandish and it'll never happen so watch it and enjoy it it's great but because of how crazy things have got i'm thinking it, to me i would not be surprised if a robot dog like was tracking me down the street and it was going to kill me you don't know what i'm talking about here but just if you don't know what i'm talking about black mirror i don't know what it's called but it's an episode with robot dogs that they you know they can be like programmed to go and, and like hunt someone down and then kill them and the robot dogs are relentless and it's so freaky and then i saw a video the other day of china and currently in china everyone's still in, on lockdown so they're still in lockdown like I why i don't know do they know something we don't know probably so they're all still on lockdown and literally there's like these flying like drones that are flying around saying please stay in your homes you must only leave to be tested stay in your homes if you leave you will be arrested it's black mirror is, is becoming reality it's just it's a fucking shit show and i'm trying to remain happy and positive for my children because they're all that matters to me like if i didn't have kids i honestly don't think i would be this worried but I, when you have kids you you want the best future for them and i'm extremely concerned that they're never going to be able to buy their own house. It's going to be a struggle for them to forge a career because the world's just gone mental. People aren't trained to be doctors, vets, nurses, teachers anymore. You know, now that we have social media, everyone wants to be like influencers or everything's just becoming more technological. People are like moving in other directions. And also like the salaries for doctors, nurses, teachers, vets, the salaries aren't that great so say if you wanted to be a doctor you're gonna to have to study for like at least six years take out student loans or like fund all of your studying and then you leave being a doctor you've got all of this like student loan debt that is going to take you years and years and years and years to pay off then you become a doctor in like a hospital the salary is not that great the hours are relentless i mean i've watched quite a few videos on you know the day in the life of a doctor and i know that, that 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 one video or two videos or three doesn't speak for everyone's experience but the common theme seems to be that you know you're working relentless hours doing loads of unpaid overtime you're exhausted the days that you have off you just spend sleeping because you're so fucking exhausted and the salary is not even that great and meanwhile you've got to pay off all your student loans and I think about what kind of future are we creating? Like, why are footballers being paid £200,000 per week for kicking a fucking football around a pitch? Nothing annoys me more than this. The fact that footballers and, and sports stars and Formula One drivers, they get paid a ridiculous amount of money. Like, a ridiculous amount of money. Why are we not paying that to the surgeons, to the doctors, to the teachers, to the nurses? why if covid and the pandemic taught us anything it was that we rely on these key roles key workers oh my god the world has gone crazy it's gone fucking crazy like because what we're we gonna do we have no doctors oh great 
wonderful. We just we'll all just just die. We don't really teach us. Oh great, who's who's going to teach the next generations? It's easy to identify the problem, and then it's even easier to identify the fucking solution. Pay them more. Make sure their working conditions are a lot better. Why are these not being done? Me and I got fucking Man City players being paid like five hundred thousand pounds a week for kicking a fucking football around. Oh yeah, that's going to be great. We don't have any doctors. No, we don't have any surgeons or teachers. No. Oh, don't worry though. Man City are playing on Saturday. Don't worry, fine. They'll be driving in in their Lamborghinis. Meanwhile, the we everyone's dying because we don't have any health care professionals. I just find it so frustrating. Like it's so frustrating. It's not like these are these are like huge problems. Like how are we gonna go and live on Mars? These are not huge problems. Like can we invent a, new, a dinosaur and build it? These are not huge problems. But yet nothing fucking being done. Nothing fucking being done. And that's why it frustrates me. Anyway, guys, I am gonna go because I feel good. Like I got it out of my system. These are just some concerns and frustrations that I've had recently. And this is why, back to my original point, which I diverted off from and I'm, I'm backtracking to, don't worry, I'm circling back to the original point. I think this is why I had my epiphany about makeup because I just feel like I can't afford fucking makeup. It's a choice between like, oh, new foundation or strawberries because strawberries are so fucking expensive. Well, I'm gonna go for strawberries. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go. I know this has been a downer. It's been a downer. I get it. But I feel like because the mainstream media is so full of shit, it makes me feel better if I see someone who has the same problems I have. And is it just makes me feel like I'm not alone. It's like I'm, I'm not the only one feeling freaked out by the uncertainty and the chaos and the inadequacies in, in the system. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go, though, because I do have other shit to do. Anyway, okay, I've got to make money somehow. Right, guys, I'm off. Bye!